all right welcome back in this video we're going to learn how to change or keep existing sequence settings in premiere pro uh you will probably encounter this uh you know the dialog box but i'm gonna show you later on uh what um what i am talking about so without further ado let's go inside of premiere pro and let's get started now we are inside of the Premiere Pro right now and now just in case that you shoot multiple camera and you get your video footage or files from different source and the video formats are different or they have different frame rate and frame sizes. Let's say some of them was on captured on 720p or some of them shoot 60 frames per second. That is okay because Premiere Pro can conform all of them on a sequence settings you will choose for your timeline. Just keep in mind that if you have uh, different uh, formats, um, you may experience some lag, delay, or frame drop because your system will work harder to play back and conform all of your mixed footages sizes uh, all of your mixed footage sizes and format your sequence settings. So first, for this example, let's try to create a sequence that does not match to our video clip in our assets folder. So all of this um, video inside of my uh, assets folder was shot on 1080p. So I'm gonna create a f uh, I'm gonna create a new sequence um, that 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 doesn't match 1080p. All right. So to create a new sequence, let's go to file new and sequence now as you can see i was on the dslr 1080p 24 frames per second i'm going to change that to let's say 720p all right and i'm going to rename this 720p sequence let's click ok all right, so as you can see, it's not highlighted because I did not choose what specific frame rate inside of 720p. So if that is the case, let's so choose, um, let's say 60 frames per second. All right, so it's really, it's really a mismatch in our, uh, with our current videos. So let's click on OK and this, right, now we have the sequence here, the 720p settings uh, sequence. Now, if I'm gonna add a video, which this video is was shot uh, 1080p, and if I'm gonna drag this to our timeline, uh, to our sequence, to our 720p sequence, let's see what will happen. Boom, clip mismatch warning. This clip does not match the sequence settings, change sequence to match the clip settings. So if you're gonna keep existing settings, um, it will, the settings of the sequence will be the same. What do I mean with that? Um, you remember you you remember you set your sequence in 720p with 60 frames per second. That will be that's gonna uh, leave like that. All right, your sequence. So all of this video, they will try Premiere Pro will try to convert it to play it on 720p and 60 frames per second. All right, so your your system will work harder to convert that every time you play the uh, video on the timeline. All right, but if you're gonna go ahead and click on change sequence settings, the video or the sequence right now will um, will uh, will follow or will be the same as your clip. All right, so if your clip was shot in 1080p, your sequence now will be 1080p. But if you're gonna click on keep existing settings, it will stay 720p. All right, so that's uh, that's that's the uh, difference between of them. All right, so I think now you know. All right, now you know how to handle this clip mismatch warning, and it's a very good knowledge to know, and now you have it. Well, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.